In this video we'll show how you can take a list control in a UX component and make it uh, behave as if it had a row expander uh, much like a grid component uh, might have. So you can see that we have a list control that's based on the customer table in uh, Northwinds and uh, we're displaying all the data from the customer table and then in each row in the customer table we have a little uh, button here called more and if I click on that button you can see that the row expands and displays more data about that particular row and then if I click less the row contracts so there we go more and more etc. So um, the way that this is done is by um, making the uh, template for the list control uh, have a show hide uh, section in it. So if we go here to the uh, list properties here we'll see that this list is based on the customer table from Northwind that the list has been set to have a freeform layout and then in the freeform layout we have a div over here <coughs> excuse me uh, that uh, is initially hidden and this div contains the additional information that's going to be revealed uh, when the user clicks the more button. So um, let's now go through the behavior uh, how this was actually uh, constructed. So the first thing to notice is that uh, we've given the uh, the div that is uh, shown and displayed it's uh, a special ID uh, and the ID uses the um, UX component name, the ID of the current list that we're working on, and then a placeholder here called uh, zero base row number. So that means that uh, on row number one this is going to have a value of zero and on row number two it's going to have a value of one, etc. So now you can see that each div has a um, unique ID and that it's been initially set to display uh, none. Then the next thing you'll notice is that we have um, um, in the uh, the visible part, the always visible part uh, of the list we have um, on the first row we have customer ID which is in bold and then on the second row we have a div and the div has a company name uh, and contact name on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, um, and it's on the right because this div here has a style float right, uh, we have uh, a link control um, that has uh, an on-click event that calls some JavaScript. So the uh, JavaScript that gets called is show row expander and what we're passing into this uh, JavaScript function is the row number, the zero based row number and then also the uh, list ID. So next now let's go take a look at, oh uh, one other thing I'd like to point out also is that the actual text on this link control uh, is um, wrapped in a span and the span happens to have an ID over here that again uses that same format but uh, ends in BTN. So the uh, format for the ID that is of the ID of the div that is shown and, and hidden ends in dot um, LPH so list placeholder and then this um, uh, uh, ID here ends in BTN the actual uh, suffix is irrelevant um, so now let's go take a look at um, the JavaScript function so let's go here to the JavaScript and we can see here's our function called show row expander that takes two arguments row num and list ID and so what we do is um, we get a pointer to the button element so there's the syntax for the button element over there and we get a pointer to the uh, the div that is going to be shown and hidden uh, over there and there's the uh, pointer to th that div and then we just use the um, a5.u.element.toggle function built into alpha 5 to actu actually uh, toggle the visibility um, of that div. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing our discussion of um, how to add a row expander to a list control and now uh, we're looking here at the uh, JavaScript that um, toggles the visibility of that hidden div and we can see that 
uh, in the show uh, property we've got an on complete um, uh, callback event and what that does is it changes the uh, label on the hyperlink from more to less and then similarly on the hide event we're changing the label uh, on the hyperlink from less uh, back to more um, and of course LEB is a pointer to the uh, 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 is a pointer to the um, uh, the span that uh, wraps the label on the hyperlink. Now in order to uh, write this code here that does the show hide I just um, went and um, copied some code uh, by creating a action JavaScript event and then copying the code. So if I go back to controls here you can see I've got some static text here uh, that has a, um, an ID of D1 so you can see there's just there's my static text with an ID of D1 and it's initially uh, hidden and then I put a button on the uh, UX component and then I went to action JavaScript and I chose the built-in action called toggle display of a container or div I specified that I was going to be referencing a div called D1 and uh, then on the uh, show complete I just put in an alert and on the hide complete I put in an alert and now uh, if I go here and actually uh, click the button I'll see that the uh, div becomes visible and then the um, JavaScript fires so now I just go back to that um, action in action JavaScript and I say view JavaScript and then I just copied this um, line of JavaScript here to the clipboard and then I pasted that into to my function so um, I didn't actually have to write this uh, code myself I just copied it using action JavaScript to generate the code uh, for me so now let's go back and uh, check it out again so I click on the more button so that causes the uh, animation to display over here and the div becomes visible and then as soon as the animation completes then we change the label on that uh, link control from more to less then when we hide it as soon as the animation completes then we go and change the label back to more so the key things that are going on uh, in this list control are that number one we've chosen to use a uh, freeform layout uh, over here and then in the freeform layout itself we've put all of the hidden content the initially hidden content in a div and we've given the div um, a unique name that includes the uh, current row number uh, of the row in the list so you can see that um, adding a row expander to display additional information uh, in the list is actually quite easy and in this particular case the additional information was already present in the list it was just hidden but you can also create much more complex uh, row expanders where when the user clicks on the button to show the row expander an Ajax callback is made to the server to go and actually get um, additional information uh, and the benefit of that is that if the list is very long uh, um, the fact that you're preloading the uh, hidden information uh, is uh, is not going to cause the amount of mem the amount of data loaded into uh, the uh, browser to be too large. Thanks very much for watching.